What's up everybody, I'm back with another video. Today we're diving deep into the world of ethical hacking with a look at the top 10 Android hacking tools you need to know about. These tools, all available on GitHub, are essential for anyone interested in cybersecurity, penetration testing, or just understanding how to make your Android devices more secure. We'll be exploring each tool's unique features, its purpose, and most importantly, how it can be used ethically. Remember, ethical hacking is about responsible disclosure, finding vulnerabilities before the bad guys do, and ultimately making the digital world a safer place. We'll be discussing how these tools can be used for legitimate security testing and research purposes only. So whether you're a seasoned security pro or just starting out, this video is your guide to the most powerful Android hacking tools on GitHub. Let's get started. First up, we have the Android IMSI Catcher, a powerful tool that allows you to simulate a GSM base station. This essentially turns your Android device into a fake cell tower, allowing you to intercept mobile device traffic within a specific radius. Now, before you freak out, it's important to understand that using this tool without proper authorization is illegal in most countries. However, in controlled environments and for educational purposes, the Android IMSI Catcher can be invaluable for understanding how GSM networks work and identifying potential security vulnerabilities. One of the key features of this tool is its ability to capture IMSI numbers, which are unique identifiers for mobile devices. It can also be used to intercept SMS messages, voice calls, and even data traffic in some cases. Imagine you're a security researcher testing the security of a company's mobile communication. This tool could help you identify if their network is vulnerable to impersonation attacks or other GSM-related exploits. Again, I can't stress this enough. Use this tool responsibly and ethically. We're talking about potentially intercepting sensitive information, so always operate within the bounds of the law. It's all about understanding the technology so we can build more secure systems. Next, we have the aptly named Android Hacking Tools Repository. This is like the Swiss Army knife of Android hacking, offering a collection of tools and scripts for various purposes. From reverse engineering APK files to performing network analysis and exploiting vulnerabilities, this repository has something for everyone. Whether you're interested in penetration testing, malware analysis, or just want to peek under the hood of your Android apps, this collection of tools is a great place to start. One of the key features of this repository is its diversity. You'll find tools for sniffing network traffic, decompiling apps, scanning for vulnerabilities, and much more. It's a treasure trove of resources for anyone serious about Android security. Let's say you're developing an Android app and you want to make sure it's secure before releasing it to the public. You could use the tools in this repository to perform static and dynamic analysis, identifying potential weaknesses in your code or design. Or maybe you're a security professional tasked with investigating a potential data breach. The tools in this repo could help you analyze network logs, identify suspicious activity, and track down the source of the breach. The possibilities are endless, but remember, with great power comes great responsibility. Use these tools ethically and legally. Moving on, we have Burp Suite, a heavyweight champion in the world of web application security testing. While not strictly an Android-specific tool, Burp Suite is an absolute must-have for anyone serious about mobile security. Why? Because so many Android apps rely on web APIs and communicate with servers, making them vulnerable to the same web-based attacks as traditional websites. Burp Suite acts like a man in the middle, intercepting and analyzing the traffic between your Android device and the Internet. This allows you to identify vulnerabilities like SQL injection, cross-site scripting, XSS, and other common web app flaws. One of the key features of Burp Suite is its ability to intercept and modify requests and responses in real time. This allows you to test how an app responds to malicious input and identify potential security weaknesses. Imagine you're testing a mobile banking app. With Burp Suite, you can intercept the traffic between the app and the bank's server, potentially manipulating transaction details or user credentials to see if the app is properly secured. Of course, you would never do this to a live system without authorization. But in a controlled testing environment, 
Burp Suite gives you the power to find and fix vulnerabilities before they can be exploited. Chapter 4 Android SSL Trust Killer Exposing SSL TLS Weaknesses Now let's talk about Android SSL Trust Killer. As the name suggests, this tool is designed to disable SSL certificate checking on Android devices. Now before you hit the panic button, let me explain. Disabling SSL certificate checking is generally a terrible idea for everyday use. It leaves you vulnerable to man-in-the-middle attacks where someone could intercept your data. However, for security researchers and penetration testers, Android SSL Trust Killer can be a valuable tool for identifying SSL TLS vulnerabilities in mobile apps. By disabling certificate checking, you can analyze the traffic between an app and its server even if the app is using self-signed or invalid certificates. This can help you identify weaknesses in the app's SSL TLS implementation. Think of it like this. You're a building inspector and you need to check the structural integrity of a building. You might temporarily remove a wall to get a better look at the support beams. That doesn't mean you're going to leave the wall down forever. Similarly, Android SSL Trust Killer lets you temporarily disable SSL checking to get a better look at an app's security posture. It's a powerful tool, but use it responsibly and always re-enable certificate checking when you're done. Chapter 5. Drozer, the Android Exploitation Framework. Up next is Drozer, a powerful exploitation framework specifically designed for Android. Drozer allows you to interact with the Android framework, applications, and underlying Linux system, giving you deep access to the operating system. With Drozer, you can assess the security posture of Android apps and devices by identifying and exploiting vulnerabilities. It provides a command line interface for interacting with the Android Debug Bridge, or ADB, and executing various exploits. One of the key features of Drozer is its ability to perform both static and dynamic analysis of Android apps. This means you can analyze the app's code and behavior, looking for potential weaknesses and attack vectors. For example, imagine you're testing an app that uses inter-process communication, or IPC, to communicate with other apps on the device. Drozer can help you identify vulnerabilities in the IPC mechanism potentially allowing you to gain unauthorized access to sensitive data or functionality. Again, this is a powerful tool for security professionals and researchers. Use it ethically and responsibly to improve the security of Android apps and devices. Chapter 6 Android App Analysis Unpacking the APK Now let's dive into the world of Android App Analysis with the Android App Analysis Repository. This collection of tools is designed to help you dissect Android Package Kit, or APK files, which are the installation files for Android apps. Understanding how to analyze APK files is crucial for reverse engineering, malware analysis, and even just understanding how an app works under the hood. This repository provides tools for decompiling APKs, extracting resources, and analyzing the app's manifest file. One of the key features of this repository is its focus on automation. It includes scripts and tools that can automate many of the tedious tasks associated with APK analysis, making it easier to analyze large numbers of apps. Imagine you're a security researcher investigating a new piece of Android malware. The tools in this repository can help you unpack the malware, analyze its code, and identify its malicious functionality. Or maybe you're a developer who wants to understand how a competitor's app works. By decompiling the APK and analyzing its code, you can gain insights into their design choices and implementation details. Chapter 7 AndroGuard, your automated APK guardian. Next up is AndroGuard, a powerful open source tool designed for reverse engineering and analyzing Android applications. AndroGuard provides a Python library and command line tools for working with APK files, making it a favorite among security researchers and developers. One of the key features of AndroGuard is its ability to perform both static and dynamic analysis of Android apps. You can use it to decompile APKs, analyze their code, and even instrument apps to monitor their behavior at runtime. Imagine you're a security analyst tasked with investigating a suspicious app. AndroGuard can help you quickly identify potentially malicious code, analyze its behavior, and understand how it interacts with the Android system. Or maybe you're a developer who wants to improve the security of your own app. 
AndroGuard can help you identify potential vulnerabilities in your code and design, allowing you to build more secure and robust applications. Chapter 8 AppTool, the APK Reconstructionist. Moving on, we have AppTool, another essential tool for reverse engineering Android applications. AppTool is specifically designed for decompiling and recompiling APK files, allowing you to modify and rebuild Android apps. Now I know what you're thinking, isn't that dangerous? Well, yes and no. Like any powerful tool, AppTool can be used for both good and bad purposes. In the right hands, AppTool can be used to translate apps into different languages, patch security vulnerabilities, or even customize the look and feel of an app. However, it can also be used to create malicious versions of existing apps or inject malware into legitimate apps. That's why it's crucial to use AppTool responsibly and ethically. Only decompile and modify apps that you have the legal right to modify and always be aware of the potential security implications. Chapter 9 Android Hackers Toolkit, a toolkit for all occasions. Now let's talk about the Android Hackers Toolkit, another comprehensive collection of tools for ethical hacking and penetration testing on Android devices. This toolkit provides a wide range of tools for network scanning, vulnerability analysis, exploiting vulnerabilities, and post-exploitation activities. One of the key features of this toolkit is its ease of use. It's designed to be beginner-friendly, with clear instructions and examples provided for each tool. Whether you're a seasoned penetration tester or just starting out, this toolkit provides a great starting point for exploring the world of Android hacking. Imagine you're a security consultant hired to assess the security of a company's mobile infrastructure. The Android Hackers Toolkit can help you identify vulnerabilities in their network, test the security of their mobile devices, and provide recommendations for improving their overall security posture. Remember, the goal of ethical hacking is to identify and fix vulnerabilities before they can be exploited by malicious actors. Use this toolkit responsibly and ethically to help make the digital world a safer place. Chapter 10, MobSF, Your Mobile Security Swiss Army Knife. Finally, we have MobSF, or Mobile Security Framework, an all-in-one automated mobile application security testing tool. It supports both Android and iOS apps and can perform static and dynamic analysis, malware analysis, and even security assessments of mobile web applications. One of the key features of MobSF is its comprehensive approach to mobile app security. It covers a wide range of security aspects from basic code analysis to identifying complex vulnerabilities like insecure data storage and client-side injections. Imagine you're a mobile app developer who wants to ensure the security of your app before releasing it to the public. MobSF can help you identify potential vulnerabilities in your code, test the security of your app's communication with servers, and provide recommendations for improving your app's overall security posture. It's a powerful tool for anyone involved in the mobile app development lifecycle, from developers and security testers to project managers and security auditors. So there you have it, the top 10 Android hacking tools available on GitHub. From network analysis to reverse engineering and everything in between, these tools provide a powerful arsenal for anyone interested in mobile security. Remember, knowledge is power, but it's essential to use that power responsibly. Always operate within the bounds of the law and use these tools only for ethical hacking and security testing purposes. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like this, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads. Until next time, stay safe and keep hacking.